Hi, I'm Larry. And I'm Beth. And this is Tucker. And you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. So this is that rock formation I was talking about last night that was too dark to show you then. I don't know what they're doing here, but they're moving this mountain, apparently. I got woken up by them loading up all these rocks. I don't know where they went, but... How's it going there, bud? I don't know if there's snakes here, buddy. You be careful in the long grass. We're screaming up Interstate 15 northbound here in Montana. Uh, we're just about at the Canadian border here. We're gonna cross from Montana or Sweetgrass, Montana into Coots, Alberta. And I've got about another five hours of driving or so to Red Deer. I'm gonna park somewhere around there. And tomorrow we gotta get back to work. We've gotta unload this freight, go reload some new freight and head home. So we're reloading in Sundra, Alberta, a load of lumber. It does not need to be tarped, so it won't take too long to load it up and tie it down. It'll take longer to get this load unloaded. So uh, we get out of there by the afternoon. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah, I'll be home Thursday. Thursday evening, and then uh, I'll be home for a little while. Uh, Got to get a few things done. This truck's going into the shop again. Uh, just like regular maintenance stuff. Yeah, maintenance and stuff. And uh, I'm also buying new drive tires. I am getting the retreads, and there's lots of people who think I shouldn't. But I have virgin tires on here right now. But, uh, you know, retreads, I'm going to try them out. I'm not a fan of them either, but uh, my bank account's more of a fan of them right now. So it is what it is, guys. I can't do anything about it. Can't afford virgin tires right now, so we're going with the recaps. They're not going to be the cheap Chinese recaps, don't worry. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, while you're staring at the beautiful Montana countryside here, I'll explain to you uh, what retreads are. It's uh, a retreaded tire. It's exactly what it sounds like. So pretty much when a tire gets old, they take that tire and they take it to a very special factory and they pretty much make sure that there's no holes or punctures in it, take off the rest of the, the tread that was on there and they put a new tread on that same tire, like on the same tire walls, and it's pretty much just as good as a new tire. It's It's got a higher chance of a blowout, and uh, some people say they don't last as long, but you know, technology has come a long ways in the past while, and uh, I'm told that they're just as reliable as Virgin tires now, and a Virgin tire is obviously a tire that's only, that's never been used before. Brand spanking new. But retreads are actually better for the environment, so that makes all the, the hippies happy. And uh, it's better for my pocketbook, so that makes all the conservatives happy. So really, I should be making everybody happy with this decision, I think. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try them out, and uh, if I have a bad experience, well, then I can tell you all about it, and you can learn from my mistakes. I will be your guinea pig. And we'll see how the retreads do, getting them installed on Monday. So we've crossed the border now into Canada. We're now in Alberta. This is what the Alberta landscape looks like, at least in the south, right near Montana. Find up, it looks like the next town we're going to go through is Lethbridge, and then make our way past around Calgary up to Red Deer. I'm going to get as close to the customer as possible tonight. I might even just sleep down the road uh, so I can be there first thing in the morning. I want to get unloaded as quickly as possible. I already talked to the customer again today. They're expecting me there at 8 o'clock, so I'd like to be there ready to go at 
Maybe I can have all my straps all rolled up by eight o'clock then. That'd be nice. Was well, this a derailment or what's going on here? It's a whole pile of train cars off to the right here. A bunch of cranes and stuff. Looks like the train jumped the tracks. Shoot, yeah, that's what happened. Train derailment, I didn't, I didn't even heard of this one. Looks like it was a train full of oil. You know, this would never happen if we had pipelines. Just saying. People keep blocking all the pipelines and instead we have to transport it like this. And this is what happens. So I'm still a little ways away from Calgary here. The scenery hasn't changed much, not much to show you. Karen took me up a road here in Alberta, parallel to Highway 2, but just east of it. Seemed like a shortcut, but there's like no stores, so. This is the first store we've run into, Petro Pass. I will take it. Turn left. Guessing diesel needs to go out too. I need to get a coffee. In 200 meters, make a sharp right turn on Highway 23. What? No, Mandy, I'm gonna make a sharp right turn and go in the store. How about that? I think I gotta go park around the back. I wanna walk diesel, so I take him out the back there somewhere. Oh, there's a campground back here, too. On oh, AW2. Oh, don't tempt me with the good time. <laughs> yeah. A and W is one of my favorite fast food restaurants. They got some heart-stopping burgers. Tell you what, some great onion rings and classic root beer. What are we doing here? Got an RV park. I guess I can park over here. I'm gonna go flip myself around and you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna flip myself around and face this way, like those other trucks there. I gotta go out that way anyway. I got this steel here all the way from Tennessee. We're almost at our destination in Alberta. Four days later. And another 270 kilometers. A big old U-turn here. I mean about 40 acres. Turn this thing around. I'm not gonna park right beside this guy, but I am gonna park about a truck length away. Or truck width away. All right, well this guy's from the Steinbeck area. Greetings, brethren. What are you barking at, Diesel? Don't bark at people. Unless if they're threatening. Are they threatening us? I'll bark at them too. Should I bark at them? He's just standing there. People are allowed to stand there, Diesel. It's okay. I was beginning to think I wouldn't get another coffee. I was I was starting to get very sad. Oh, thank God we found it. Oh, get that little mic out of your way. What do you got? You guys don't want to look at that fluffy thing. It looks like a dog's chew toy. <laughs> but it keeps all the it gets really good audio as a, a opposed to the the camera itself. It's just it's like as big as the camera. <laughs> it's bigger than the camera actually. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm gonna run in here and get a coffee and uh, we're gonna meander our way down the road. My dad's actually right nearby us. He's in Calgary right now. I uh, won't be able to meet up with him because I'm going around Calgary. I gotta be in Red Deer tonight and uh, I gotta be there early enough that I can be up first thing in the morning tomorrow. Like I was saying before, I don't wanna mess around. After I get reloaded with my next load, I'm going home. Unfortunately, I'm going home to spend a lot of money again. Last time I went home, I spent $20,000. Now I gotta go and spend like another 3000 at least. So I did the math. I called two different tire tire depots. We're gonna get our tires at West End Tire in Winnipeg, I think. Uh, so West End Tire was offering me retreads for my drives. I need eight of them for $291 a tire. That's $2,328 plus 13%. Is because Mr. Fancy Socks wants some of my money too. $2,630.64. That's, uh, I think it's 8% per 
provincial tax and 5% federal tax. Uh, but I think our, no, 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 our provincial tax was just lowered, wasn't it? It was, so that's seven plus five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it's 12%. Okay, so what did I say it was? 291 times eight plus 12%, so $2,607, $2,600. I called KK Penner and Blumenor. They offered me the same retreads for $341 a tire. That's $50 more per tire. He times that by eight, that's $2,728 plus 12%. They're looking at $3,055, so. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner, West End Tire in Winnipeg. Gets my business. Uh, it's in Canadian dollars, just to clarify. Uh, not the same as American dollars. So, I'm gonna be spending, what, about 2,600, did I say, $2,600? Canadian, which is probably about, is probably under $2,000 American. Let's ask Google, she has all the answers. <clears throat> hey, Google. How you doing? I'm fine, and I'll be even more happy once you tell me how I can help. Oh, I see. Yep. Yep. What is $2,600 Canadian in American dollars? Here is information from foreign currency exchange rates. No, 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 no. Okay, Google. Let's try it this way. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what she's doing. There's so much to do. I spend some of my time reading poetry. I can share some if you'd like. No, thanks. Okay, Google. 2,600 USD to CAD. Oh, no, I want to do it the other way around. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, okay, Google. 2,600 CAD to USD. 2,600 United Arab Emirates dirhams. What? Okay, I'm just going to have to type it in because Google doesn't know what she's talking about. 2,600 CAD to USD. Okay, so that's $1,949.83 American. So $2,600 Canadian dollars is $1,950. That's how much I need to spend on my tires. Diesel, who's that? <laughs> Somebody came and parked right beside us. How dare they? How dare they park right there? How dare he drive a much nicer truck than me? Right? Yeah, you tell him. You tell him how dare he. It's a nice Peterbilt. You want to see it? How dare he drive a nicer truck? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're finally arriving. Just here in this cluster of buildings off to the to, off to the left here. The northwest side of Red Deer. Somebody here needs some Tennessee steel. I just so happen to have some Tennessee steel. I'm gonna bring it to them. 600 meters, turn left on 75 Avenue. Alrighty, Karen. You got me all the way here. My trust for you has grown exponentially, Karen. Thank you. So I'm gonna sleep on the road pretty much right at the customer. 300 meters, turn left on 75 Avenue. 75, what? Oh, Avenue. But it says AVE, like for the shortened acronym of Avenue. So she's like, Avi, turn left on 75 Avi. Feels good to be arriving. Actually, got some good time for a, a good night. Oh, there's a card lock down there. Well, I might be able to park at the card lock and set them on the street. 
Well, either way, we're like right across the street from where we need to be, so. First thing in the morning, get this Tennessee steel off my trailer and we'll put some Alberta wood on there and we'll take it to Manitoba. How's that sound? So I found my delivery point. You probably won't be able to see it because there's no light here, but right here in the field here, there's a whole bunch of steel that uh, some other guys, I guess, have brought before me. So my load is gonna go into the field here as well. Now you can't see it, it's too dark, but this is where we gotta be first thing in the morning. So we'll go find a quiet place to park. I don't think I can park right exactly here. Plus I don't wanna be in the way of their equipment when they get here, so. Let's go find a place we can shut her down. We'll be back here in the morning. At least I know where I'm going now. 